What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. What we are unboxing is not a ladies handbag despite the packaging. It is the Mizu MX, which according to its spec sheet may very well be the best Android smartphone you've never heard of. So let's go ahead, dig in and see if it's as good as a spec sheet would have you believe. All right, so we're now hooked up to Wi-Fi and there's some interesting things going on with these buttons down here. Uh, if you tap that one, it doesn't do much, but if you hold it down, it's going to go ahead and lock the device. And if you want to unlock it, there's a button up top which you can use to lock or unlock as well. And here is what the lock screen looks like. You can go ahead and get right to a few things. If you take it and sort of slide it up, then you're going to have your dialer. And then you get a new series of buttons here um, that shows up. And if you hold it, it will take you back home. This guy, if you hold it with three buttons, uh, it's going to pull up your recent applications and volume controls and some shortcuts for some of your connection things. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the other applications that are going to be on here. Then we'll take a quick look at the device itself. So we've got a documents folder, uh, which sort of gives you a uh, option to view everything that's in here. A very structured format to so give you your download music, all the stuff that Android uh, has downloaded that you've downloaded uh, for your Android market or you know, may have downloaded from other sources. Uh, you've got music, calendar, calculator, email, alarm clock, video gallery, camera. Let's see what the camera uh, application looks like on here. Pretty, uh, pretty standard Android fare here. Let's go ahead and go back home. I'm still looking for uh, an app drawer on here, but hopefully we'll see one of those uh, in just a moment. We've got maps. That, I assume, is going to be messages. Uh, we continue to scroll along. We got nothing there. Uh, only three home screens, it looks like. So there's Android Market, Recorder, Notes, and there's something called Folder, which evidently opens up a folder. We'll go ahead and hit Home. Let's see what kind of widgets Mizu is going to give us. So holding down the home screen doesn't appear to want to launch widgets. So this is going to be an operating system we're going to have to play around with a little bit uh, to figure it out. You can pull this down, and there's your notification drawer. It does not come down all the way. All right, let's do a quick tour of the device. Uh, so you've got that four inch screen we talked about, volume rocker up and down on the left hand side. Uh, you've got hard plastic with a non-removable uh, battery in here, and that's 1600 milliamp hours. There's an eight megapixel camera, LED flash, speaker grill there. We've got the Mizu MX emblazoned uh, across it. Uh, it doesn't feel uh, low quality plastic. It feels uh, very solid and secure. There's your charging and sync port and a microphone. On the right hand side, we've got nothing. Top in the upper right hand corner, power and lock button, at least one of the options for power and lock, microphone, and a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Uh, continuing right along the phone, you've got two changing buttons. I can't even tell you what they do yet. Uh, and you've got one physical button in the middle that takes you home. I wonder if I hold press, long press it, if that'll do anything. Double tap it. So this is going to be a fun operating system to try and learn. Uh, this is the Mizu MX. Uh, stay tuned to Techno Buffalo for a ton more coverage on it. I am John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.